let's now look at a different type of circuit. Here we have a typical arrangement for the DC trip circuit. As we can see, on this circuit, some of the wiring is routed back through a marshalling kiosk. This means that all of the wiring between the marshalling kiosk dots is sourced from that location. Let's now add some ferrules. So what ferrules should we use for the positive and negative buzz bars? It's common for these buzz bars to feed multiple types of circuits. So in this case, we use the DC distribution ferrule prefix, which is J. But following a similar philosophy from the last circuit, we label the positive buzz bar J1 and the negative buzz bar J2. What about the main circuit itself? Well, as we've said, this is a circuit breaker trip circuit. So therefore, we need to use the K prefix. As before, all the positive signals are odd numbers. So let's use K1, K3, K5, K7, K9, and finally K11. As we can see, the K1 signal is looped across several parallel contacts. But as they are connected to the same signal, all of the wires are ferrelled K1. Although some utilities will put an additional letter or number on the end, so that you know which wire in the loop you're looking at. So we might get K1A, K1B, K1C, K1D, and finally K1E. And similarly for the K7 loop, we'll get K7A, K7B, K7C, K7D, and finally K7E. So we've now done all of the positive signals. What about the negative signal? Well, following the same philosophy, let's use K2. We've now ferrelled all of the connections on this circuit. 